There's a new phrase which has been used a lot. It's called serious games. And you know, you think, well, that could be a uh, contradiction in terms. I mean, last, last night there were some games being played. I don't think they were very serious. But games can be serious. At the beginning of this each year, Harvard Business Review published a list of 20 fundamentally important trends in you know, the economy and business. Four of those 20 trends at this year were about how games and gaming technologies and virtual worlds were being used in business. And there are many, many similarities. I don't know how many are familiar with games like World of Warcraft. What you do in World of Warcraft is you go, you form teams, you collaborate, you create tasks, get tasks done, you, you know, have competitors, you have collaborators, you work together to actually re achieve something. Sounds a bit like an organization, doesn't it? There's no reason why an organization could not function inside a game or a game interface where people take on these uh, characters and be able to literally play a game in order to perform business processes and perform their tasks. You know, this happens to show at the Port of Rotterdam and some of the things which they're doing to be able to use games as an interface to getting work done. And so games and the virtual worlds which we participate in are increasingly fundamental to the way in which organizations work.